Yo, what's up, what's up? DJ Dream once again here with some DJ tips. No tricks today. Uh, today I wanted to show you a few things here that I've learned through the years and uh, based on experience and everything. And uh, let's see if this helps any uh, newcomer, any new, uh, new rookie DJ, anybody that's uh, out there trying to make it and trying to get some uh, advice. Uh, so why not? So let's get going. Uh, first lesson is uh, one thing is Every time we go to a gig, we need, we need to uh, make sure our cables are taped down and everything's organized and uh, we don't want you know, people tripping on them. So what we usually do is tape it down with usually duct tape or, or any other type of tape. Uh, the problem that I come upon was I used to get all my cables sticky and you don't want to get them all sticky. And uh, again, and this is for, uh, before I go on, this is for people that, you know, on a budget, you know, we can't, all, we can't afford to buy every little gimmick toy or, or, or advi uh, device or anything that would... Uh, make us look very professional. This is for us getting started and uh, there is a solution for it. Uh, like first off here is uh, duct tape. Now you don't need to buy expensive duct tape. Remember, you're gonna throw this away at the end of the night. You don't need to buy expensive duct tape. I go to Dollar Tree and buy it for a dollar. I'm pretty sure you guys have uh, another place you can get it for cheaper. Do not spend no more than a dollar though. These, are you're gonna get rid of them at the end of the night. And they do their job. They're only to tape down on the floor and they're sticky and they work fine. Okay, what you first wanna do is have your cable on the floor and it's on the floor, right? So uh, you're ready to tape it up. But like I said, you don't wanna have it all sticky and stuff. So what you do is cut a piece of duct tape and make it a length, like whatever, let's say it's six inches. Uh, then you get another piece for four inches or three inches, whatever, and take that and have the sticky parts on both sides of the tapes, you know, together. Now you'll have a little bit of handles on each side and when you do that's when you cover it and what's happening it's it's still going to stick to the floor but it's not going to stick to your cable and it's still going to be able to have it all nice and tight and you know nobody would trip on it and at the end of the night you take the tape off once you take the tape off your wires are not sticky now i got another one that one actually is pretty cool that's like for quick stuff and everything but i got another solution let me show you Go to Target, go to Walmart, go to any of those stores where they have floor mats. Doesn't have to be the most expensive one. A welcome mat, right? This was $2. Now you're thinking, wow, that's $2, right? $2, I bought two of them. This will eliminate a lot of the taping, especially near your DJ booth. What you do is just literally put on the floor where your cables are at. That's all you gotta do, put it on the floor. And that's it. Now, if you want better security, you know, maybe you can buy the $5 one that's more heavy duty and more rubber like. This is literally like, I don't know, it's a little bit of rubber in there, but it's mainly thread. It's mainly uh, some sort of cloth. Uh, but if you want to go a little more further, buy a, a, a more rubber mat type uh, that's heavier and everything. This way you don't have to tape it down. Sometimes, on occasions, I will have to tape it down to, just to keep it there. But uh, not all the time, and this works magic. This is like, and, and, and it's fast, take care of the problem right there and then. Okay, here what we have is the, the Q segment of the mixer. Uh, this is on a TTM 56S rain mixer. Uh, it has a, has a little fader for your left and right program. And here is literally just a button <clears throat> when you have it down. It uh, only works with this fader here. But the magical thing about this, and a lot of mixers have it, I ain't gonna say this is the only one. This is the way this one's uh, uh, designed. Uh, when you switch it up, it goes to master. Now master, what it is, it literally goes into the master volume. It's uh, connected to your master volume output of the mixer. Now what that means is uh, <clears throat> whatever you're doing outside, you're mixing, you're scratching, you're lowering your EQ, you're, you know, you, you're doing any changes, even the microphone, you can hear everything exactly the way your speakers are, are, are outputting. The exact output the speakers are coming out is the exact same thing you will have on your headphones if you have it on master output. Now the reason why I'm bringing this up, it's very important. Uh, a lot of places won't have monitors. A lot of gigs, they just won't have monitors. Or a lot of gigs, uh, a lot of these have bad monitors and you really can't hear it. So the way to solve this problem is that you put the headphones, you cover both your ears and uh, you use the master switch and you can hear exactly exactly what's coming out of the speakers. You're hearing exactly what the people are hearing. Now remember, a lot of DJs will argue and say, well, I want to hear what's going outside, you know, so they put a headphone out, which again, that's fine. That works for them. That's fine. If they're doing the job and they're doing it right, it doesn't matter. 
All I'm saying is that if you have a situation where you are used to monitors and that's not working for you, this is the definitely the way to go. Now me, I am personally, I use this. I don't actually use ever monitors because I never have to worry about ever having them, have ever having bad monitors. Even if they have monitors, I actually turn it down and I use my headphones and I leave both my ears covered. This is the way I'm used to. And the reason I do it is because I get very detailed very detailed mixes and if I hear any uh, discrepancies, I fix it right away because it's in my headphones. And again, I can hear everything. Everything, the output, anything in the output, I can hear it. So um, it's very important for other DJs to know that. A lot of DJs might know that, but they don't see the importance of it. They, they, they got accustomed to monitors. But all I'm saying is for DJs that are in a bind in a situation where they don't have monitors, that is the definitely way to go. Um, <clears throat> of course, if you're in a club gig, you know, you, you professional DJ booth, they have professional monitors and everything, and this is irrelevant to you. I'm talking about DJs that travel, that, that go to different clubs and, and their bad system, or they go to a, a gig and uh, they don't have monitor system. Okay, and the next tip, uh, we're going to be talking about uh, the cables to use for your output on your mixer. Uh, these are the options, uh, which fairly, and which honestly, this is the same. These pair are pretty much the same. And this is pretty much the same. It's just in a different style and a design. Uh, but this works pretty much the same. This works pretty much the same. And I'll explain the difference. This one here is uh, your typical RCA, phono plug, it used to be called also. RCA, which is the lowest of the list here. And this one's also bottom of the barrel here. Uh, it's a quarter inch TS. It's just two sleeve, meaning the positive and negative. Same thing here, positive and negative right here, the little uh, ring there now this try to avoid this as much as you can uh, this is not very professional it's unbalanced uh, especially if you're using longer cables and you, you know especially now everybody's going for powered speakers you're going to use longer cables from your mixer to your speakers you're going to get that hum and you don't want that you get that and then you also get interference you actually might get even radio inter interference it happened to me way back in the days when I used to use this didn't know why and later realized and learned uh, you don't want to go this route uh, again, this is like just to get started maybe at home or something, but if you're in a prof professional environment, you definitely want to go that route. And not only that, this one's also, uh, it, it's for some reason, the volume is much lower, and I guess it's, it's based on the design of the mixer or whatever line mixer you're using. It gives you a much better output. These do, I'm sorry, these do give you a much better um, uh, plus 4 dB uh, boost using balanced cables as opposed to unbalanced. So this, try to avoid this. Now this right here, like I said, this and this is actually the same thing. It's just a uh, different design, this different way of going in to your mixer. Uh, this is balanced, and you can see the difference between this quarter inch and the other quarter inch. This is only TS, tip, negative. This one's tip, negative, ground. So this is balanced, this is balanced, XLR, XLR. This is the way to go. You definitely want to go this route. Now, again, I use this only because my mixer is designed that manner where it only uses quarter inch uh, uh, TRS and TS, which obviously I prefer to use balanced TRS, and it gives me, a, like I said, a plus 4 dB uh, boost in level. Uh, a lot of mixers, high-end mixers, use this XLR, which is technically the way to go. Um, so you definitely want to stick to this as opposed to this. Like I said, this one... Uh, uh, this, I, on my personal opinion, I don't think this should exist anymore. I think all mixers should be this way. And I, I'm still seeing, I'm, I'm still surprised that I'm still seeing a lot of DJ controllers with just RCA out, which is it's just no, no. But then again, if you're using a low-end DJ controller, then uh, I guess they go well together. This is more the higher end, the more professional. And, and forget about professional. I mean, you want to have a clean sound. Why not? So go this route. It might be a little more pricey. Mm, but it's all worth it. I'm telling you right now. It's all worth it So that was it guys. Thank you for watching. This is DJ dream saying peace